Okay, so um, this needs a little bit of background and explaining, I suppose, for this video. So recently I fitted a dash cam into my car, uh, fitted the wiring in. It uses a five volt step down plug-in cigarette lighter plug. Um, I might put a photo of it just so you can see what it is. And basically since I put that in, I've started to get really poor FM radio reception, which isn't ideal. So some of the lower power FM stations in the area don't come through at all. So I started to try and think of what this could be. Now, what I'd done is I had taken a feed off the ignition, because there's an ignition cigarette lighter socket, and put in a, uh, a hidden extender. And this is what I put in. I think it was a couple of pounds off eBay. As you can see, it's a twin cigarette lighter extension with the added bonus of having two five volt USB sockets on it, which was going to be quite useful. So I could charge a few gadgets up and things and it all tucks away neatly into a little storage compartment in the car. And then I plugged into one of these, the adapter for the dash cam. So it turns on when the ignition comes on and it seemed to work okay. On the, on the end, by the way, it obviously didn't have bare wires like this. It did actually have a cigarette lighter plug, but as I say, I've wired it in to the car. Now, since I started getting the interference, I thought I'd put some of these, and you can buy these very cheaply, to be honest. Um, and uh, they, they do tend to help to a degree, so I bought a pack of them and that made no difference whatsoever. So my suspicion is the five volt USB on this is obviously gonna be a step down transformer or a, more likely a buck transformer, DC to DC convert, something like that inside. And typically these are very noisy. That means electrically noisy. Um, and if that's the case, then what I could do is I could add something like a, a toroidal coil or a capacitors to input and output. There's a few different things you can do to smooth the input to try and get rid of some of the lumpy noise and also the output because generally these are a switch mode transformer which means there's constantly sets of switches clicking backwards and forwards that can create noise that can cause noise that works its way through the whole electrics on the car and generally you can lose reception. So instead of waffling on, why don't we pull this apart, take a look at the method used inside this adapter for the step down. So obviously it's taking 12, it actually says 12, 24 volts. So I assume it's a 12 or 24 volt input. And I, I assume it will drop it down to the five volts needed for USB. So we'll pop this apart. As with most of these things, they're quite simply put together, which is always useful. Four simple screws hold the casing together by the looks of it. And we'll see what circuit, like I say, so I'm expecting a fairly simple DC to DC switch mode transformer, switch mode circuit inside. And that's not coming apart. Ah, we've got some uh, hex, yeah, are they hex? Yeah, hex screws. So we'll take those off. Let's see. I think this one will do it. There we go. I think these are just so that they're recessed and and look neat to be honest with you. I don't think they've got any other purpose or any other important purpose. Uh, what I might do is just take two out and see if it slides out with that. Yeah, there we go. Slides out. And oh. first thing I notice is the little LED that's, uh, that's just tacked on the top here. So that little LED is what shines through and gives you your power illumination light. I'm guessing there's a resistor inside there. So that's all they've done. The I can see the black wires that come in here. I just soldered straight onto 
two pieces of metal basically and it's it's the way it's assembled that holds that together which is quite a neat way of doing it let's pull all of this out of the case yeah so that's all it is just those two I mean even the they haven't even cut the excess wire on the LED it's just been tacked in there and I just yeah if I if I look very carefully down there you can just make out a resistor so okay so that's just the red power illumination and the input goes straight to these so there's there's no protection or anything on those that's just direct but the first thing I notice on the circuit board is this and a couple of oops and a couple of ah, ZH capacitors which makes me think this is actually smoothing it and this is a smooth supply uh, they are 35 volts uh, 100 microfarads so yeah uh, and looking at these yeah there's a lot more to the circuit than I expected I didn't expect it to be quite like this which initially this makes me think it's actually quite a quite a smooth supply it's not as smooth as it could be uh, because we'd need a, a another coil on the output uh, actually let's have a look and see where the coil does go see if it's on input or output sorry uh, choke to choke output yeah that that feeds round to the usb output so it looks like input comes straight in and is fed straight round to the usb ground and the negative and the positive goes through this little ic this chip here um let's see if i can see what the chip says this is always the tricky part mc three four zero six three mc three four zero six three chip okay i'll uh, i'll look that up i suspect that'll be a, a switching uh chip and the other components are they're actually labeled so you've got uh r4 r5 r6 and r7 at the top here 43k 47k 47k 75k um, and a few resistors capacitors all surface mount and uh, it's actually quite a quite a nice little board there's there's not a huge amount of separation but the the main tracks are quite thick which is always a good sign to be honest with you yeah um i'm now starting to think this isn't the source of my noise problem because i think this looks a reasonably well put together circuit it's certainly not as basic as i'd expected so perhaps i'm barking up the wrong tree when i'm uh, when i'm blaming this cheap little adapter i got this couple of quid adapter i think might be okay in which case it might be the 5 volt dc to dc that's built into the dash cam itself in which case I could always power it off these USB, seeing as these look like a reasonable candidate for the job. So I think that uh, <coughs> that might be the next video, to be honest, to uh, to take a look at the power supply used for the dash cam rather than this one. But otherwise, I think this one can go back together and can go back into the car because this one looks quite useful.